Hi, I'm Daniel Radcliffe, and this is my career in four minutes. Oh, did you guys meet? Wallace, Hi. this is my cousin Chantry. Ah! Oh, yeah! Thank you for being so gracious in victory. I'm gonna give you my number. We should hang out. Yeah. My boyfriend will be worried about um, what happened to me. So, friends? Yeah, why not? Okay. Right. Friends. I still love it. Like, I'm still. I'm not always proud of my own work in it. You know, there are moments that, to me, the journey of Harry Potter to everyone else is watching those characters develop over those films and watching those films, you know, find their own voice as well. Um, for me, it's about just watching me learn how to act. Um, and, you know, with, with varying degrees of success, you know, there's moments I love in the fifth film and ones I hate in the sixth film and moments that I, you know, really, you know, I've, I've Feel the last film was really my strongest, and, and and I was very happy with that. But in terms of what they gave me, is so much more than um, just that. You know, they gave me the stamina because uh, I, you know, when I was aged thirteen, I thought that all films shot for eleven months of the year, um, and that so that's kind of what I got used to, and the, the hours, and and it just gave me a direction and a sense of like where I am in my life and what I was, what I wanted to do with the rest of my life that I can't imagine having got anywhere else. You know, Ricky gave Ricky and Steve Merchant gave me a chance to because I sort of knew that's what everyone thought I'd be like is a kind of a slightly brattish, obnoxious child star, um, and you know the the fact that they, without knowing me, uh, knew that I would want to try and subvert that image people had of me was really a lot of fun. And yeah, I remember not being able to keep it together on those sets. If I hadn't been in it, like I would have found it really scary. But there's a joy in being in a horror film and knowing where all the jumps come, because then you can just watch other people in the audience as they're about to sort of um, experience it. So I I, I loved that, you know. But, um, but yeah, The Woman in Black it was uh, again amazingly important for me in terms of being my first post Potter film. That was like the first time I've ever looked at my own work in something and gone, yes, that is like I can't see myself there. That is just a character. Um, and so that was immensely important for me. That was, uh, John Krakidis, I think, is the best director I've ever worked with in terms of combining his visual sort of uh, brilliance with his, the way he talks to actors, which is second to none. Like, he's an amazing director of actors. I mean, this is, again, my first chance of comedy, really, since, uh, since Extras. So that was definitely something that I, wanted to, that I wanted to do. And, you know, just to play a normal character, this is the first time I've played somebody who isn't fighting ghosts or a 1940s poet or, uh, you know, has magical powers. So it's, it's nice just to play a normal guy. I play a guy called Ig Parrish, who has, um, his girlfriend's been murdered and the whole town thinks he's done it. And then after a night of getting drunk and, uh, sleeping with somebody he shouldn't really have slept with. Uh, he wakes up growing small devil horns, which then he has to, over the next three days, work out why he is turning into the devil and who really killed his girlfriend. And it is, it just refuses to be pinned down into a genre. It's funny, it's a slasher horror, it's it got this incredibly tragic love story in the middle of it, it's a thriller. Like, it's, it's, it's just such a weird, brilliant, amazing film. I'm very proud of it. It's very easy to be cynical about love until you've had that instant connection. If you're lucky, it happens once in a lifetime. Hundred percent honesty is the foundation of any relationship. Whoa, you are one hundred percent honest with Nicole. Yes, about everything. Yep. What, New Orleans, two thousand and six. What was her name? Uh, Fabia. Yeah, she did look like a woman. To be fair. 99% honesty is the foundation of any relationship.